Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you saw from the title, we are going to be fixing a hard old slime. Here is the slime. It is a very crunchy slime and it has many beads, but it may look nice, but it is definitely not nice. You can like barely stretch it, it like rips and beads are flinging out of it and it is just gross and it doesn't stretch at all and it's like a terrible slime you can't poke it i could just go on and on about this slime but let's get right on to the video we'll see this in a second make sure make sure to comment down below if this works to fix your slime because it definitely will fix this one First, you need to add some hot water. You can get hot water from a Keurig or simply boil it yourself. I have gotten water from a Keurig. You will want to let the slime sit in the water for enough time that it will soften. Once it is done softening, you can start mixing with the tool. You can use any tool, but I am using this pencil. You will want to fold and press down the slime in, able, in order to incorporate all of the hot water into the slime. You wanna keep doing this until softened and combined with the water. This might take a while and might make quite a mess. So be prepared. Make sure to keep a towel handy. Okay, now you can go ahead and use your hands to knead it. You wanna keep kneading it until the water is even more combined than your mixing tool made it. You will want to fold and press just like you did with your mixing utensil. Keep doing this until well combined. This might take a while, so be patient. Now you can start kneading it on the table. It might be a lot more soft than before, but just to make it softer, I am adding some shaving cream. This is the shaving cream I got from the dollar store. Shaving cream can be expensive or cheap, depending on which one you use. I will use this one. You will want to add a decent amount of shaving cream. Knead the shaving cream in until combined with the slime. This can get messy, as well as the mixing, maybe even more than the mixing. So make sure to wash your hands before and after you do this, and keep a towel handy to clean up any messes you may make. Make sure not to do this on any clothes or carpet. It may get stuck and stay there forever. It 
if you're a child, your parent will definitely, positively, absolutely get upset. So just a warning, don't do this on carpet. You want to do this on a hard surface that it, the slime will not stick to. Once you're finished kneading, it should be nice and softened, like this. It should be able to stretch quite a bit more than before, and poke a little bit better than before. But still, to make it softer, you can put it back in the water for longer to get it even more soft. Keep kneading it in the water until combined. You can do this as many times as you need to get it as soft as you want. Fold the slime until combined. Keep doing this process until soft enough to play with or poke easily. I am going to add some more shaving cream to make it even softer. Knead in the shaving cream. The shaving cream might get mixed with the water. Your hands may get messy during this, so make sure to wash your hands when you're all done. Take it out of the water to knead one final time before doing the next step. Once you are done kneading, your slime might still be a little tough. To make it even softer than it already has become, you can add some lotion. I'm using this one. Your slime might be tough, and depending on how tough your slime still is, you can add different amounts of this lotion. You can use any lotion. Add your lotion. Mix the lotion in. And also, comment down below if you think that lotion looks like worms. Because I'm pretty sure it does and it's kind of gross. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you agree.
Repeat if needed. Keep mixing. If you want to, you can stop here, but I'm adding more lotion to make it even more soft. Also, thumbs up if you're upset that this lotion looks pink, but it's really white. Like, the only reason I bought this lotion is because it's pink, because who wouldn't want pink lotion? Give this video a thumbs up if you agree. If it's stuck, you may need to take off the lid or use something to scoop it out. This might not be the most elegant or clean process, but it is definitely worth it to fix a horrible, horrible slime and turn it into one that you may actually like. No, not that you may actually like, one that you actually like. Because you're definitely going to use this, and it's definitely going to work. The lotion works so well that this almost got sticky. It started sticking to my surface. That is so amazing. Like, this process works so well, that hard slime that you could barely stretch and barely poke before turned into one that is sticking to the surface. Isn't that amazing? I think so. Just keep kneading until you're all finished. Okay, think about what the slime looked like before, hard and hideous, and look at what it looks like now. Now, after using this process, the slime is smooth, crunchy and stretchy, just like it should be. I hope doing this process helped you, because it definitely helped me. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what part of this video helped you the most, and also if you're upset about the color of that lotion. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other videos. Bye. Thanks for watching. I mean, bye. At the end there, you might have heard me, um, you know, mess up a little bit. But, uh, who cares? This video's still great. Yeah, totally. Ignore the mess up at the end. I'm warning you. Ignore it. Ignore it. Okay, no, actually, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And, um, see you in my next video.